And former Vice President Joe Biden is expected to soon announce his decision for running for president in 2020. But as he comes to his decision, people are taking a fresh look at how Biden and his son Hunter conducted themselves in Ukraine. When America's Neil McCabe sat down with investigative journalist John Solomon for this report. February uh, of 2014, Joe Biden gets the uh, assignment from President Obama. You're going to be my point man for this Ukrainian crisis. You're in charge of all policy Ukraine. So Joe Biden starts shuffling back and forth to Ukraine. There's a, a gap in the president. New president's about to come aboard named uh, President Porchenko. He's still the president. There's an election going on now. Uh, and uh, a few weeks after uh, Biden gets into office, one of Hunter Biden's um, friends comes and visits the vice president at the office. He has just gotten a job at Burisma Holdings, a large natural gas energy company in Ukraine. And out of the blue, Hunter Biden is added to the board of Burisma Holdings, the same uh, company that Devin Archer has just joined as a, as a board member. So you got two Americans suddenly joining uh, the board of Burisma, a Ukrainian natural gas company. Neither seems to have any experience in the energy sector, uh, but both have connections to Vice President Joe Biden. And that begins a relationship between Hunter Biden, Devin Archer, and their company, and, uh, and Brisma Holdings. At the time that this is going on, Ukraine is cash short. They're trying to hold on to all cash in the... They're uh, fighting a hot war. They're a hot war, and they're also... Uh, when Yanukovych left, he, uh, the treasury had been raided in Ukraine. There was only like $9,000 in the entire national treasury of Ukraine. Uh, and at that very moment... The vice president's son is taking money out of Ukraine and out of its natural gas holding company. At some point in 2015, the Ukrainian prosecutors start to look at what's going on. Victor Shokin. Victor Shokin, the general prosecutor at that time. And he starts to raise questions. And wait a second. There's these transactions of money going to the United States and they go to the vice president's son. I want to know what that's about. It's unusual for a board member. So he is making steps, and I've seen the actual case file where he wants to interview uh, Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, say, what were you doing taking this money out of the, out of the company and into the United States? And it's at that point where the Shokin is preparing to start to ask questions that Joe Biden makes his first comment to President Porchenko. I think you should get rid of that guy Shokin. He's a joke. I don't like him. Uh, you should get rid of him. So in early March, mid-March of 2016, now keep in mind it's a presidential election, Hillary Clinton's trying to beat Donald Trump, the last thing Joe Biden wants out there is some scandal involving his son and Democratic operatives in Ukraine. So he makes a phone call to President Porchenko based on the Ukrainians' records and says, you're going to get rid of that fellow like I told you to, or I'm going to bankrupt your country because I won't deliver the last $1 billion in loan guarantees. And at that point... Porchenko finally complies, and he, he, without really any grounds, he doesn't cite grounds of evidence or corruption, he just gets rid of Shokin. Joe Biden got fired, the prosecutor who was intending and interviewing his son about these millions of dollars that were taken out of Ukraine brought to the United States. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube, and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.